Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Kronos006, and we're back with more of Resident Evil HD with this playthrough of Chris Redfield. Now, first thing we need to do is we gotta go get that serum, and we gotta get it to Forrest, I think it's Kenneth? Kenneth or Forrest? I can't remember which. Okay, we've got a space in our inventory, but we can go ahead and drop off the ink ribbon, because we don't need that. There's the note that Wesker left us. That was so nice of him. He's such a great guy. Alright. I need to get the serum first. That's all the way back over there. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna take a minute. I was kind of curious to check out this room, since I just saved. I was worried about dying, but since I just saved, I'll go ahead and check out this room. There's something in this depression, but the grate is in the way and you can't reach it. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. No thanks. Yeah, I do kind of remember this from the first game. The sleeping night. The sleeping night. Hmm. I'll mess with that later. I can't quite remember what I have to do here. I remember what what you do in the original game, but I don't quite know what to do in this situation. So I'll just keep doing what I was doing. Hmm, I've got an unopened door there I can check out. Yeah, let's do it. Oh wait, this is poor Forrest. <laughs> I need to get the serum for him here, or is it too late? I think it's too late. <laughs> Oops. I certainly remember where this door goes. Uh-oh. Yep. Ah! I took your head off, bitch. Alright, man, I can't see at all. What is this? Ah, it's a flash grenade. It's really hard to see. I do see a door here, though. This room's dark. Can I light these candles? Hopefully. Yes, good. Now I can kind of see. Ooh, I got shotgun shells. Good. I don't have the knife with me. So I'm gonna hope he's dead. Mm. 
No, he was not. Oh, shit. Now he's dead. Ooh, I got a musical score. It's the Moonlight Sonata. Another clip. Couldn't even see it, but I was just searching for stuff. And now this room is clean, so let's get going. I know what's in this room. And of course, looking at the door that looks like that, you can imagine good things will happen here. And it's okay, it's locked. I have to get the shield key first. Oh great, now there's a zombie. Come here, buddy. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 guy. Hello. I'm right behind you. Goodbye. That's what you get for not paying attention to me. Aiming straight up at a zombie with a shotgun blast usually lets you take out their head. So. Good things. Alright. I'm still missing... I've still got the armor key, so there's got to be a locked door here somewhere that I'm still missing. There's a lot of running around and running back and forth in this game. I'm going to do my best to edit out certain parts that are completely boring. So hopefully it's not too boring for you guys watching. Lock from the other side. Okay. Oh god, it's these guys again. No, I missed! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Worth it. No! Quit getting up. I remember that door is locked and I can't get in there yet, so I'm gonna head this way. This is where the serum was. There are several kinds of serum here, and many of them are of a sickly color. Okay. I guess I can't take it. I thought I was supposed to take it. Says that room's clear.
Okay, and it looks like this door is locked. At the end here. Ah, but there's where I can use the armor key. Good, good. Making progress. Another flash grenade. What happened to the other one I picked up? Hmm, I don't know. I thought I picked one up, maybe I didn't. I cannot see a thing. Can I light you? No, I cannot. Did I do it in the wrong place? No, I cannot light it. Damn. It is really dark. Zombie around the corner. Nope. Whoa. Oh, zombie outside. Maybe. I don't know. You can tell I've played this uh, version of this game before. I'm used to their tricks. Oh, I know where I am. The lid on the water pump is open. Pump the water? Sure. No, actually, I don't need to. Aha, uh -huh, see? We got our little, our little friend over there. There's something I need before I can go in there. And yet, I think I'm going to go and take care of that now. Because I need that chemical that'll be back in the storage room. Okay, and that's that. But first, I'll go ahead and check out these other doors. You cannot even see that you can turn there. Very dark. is stuck on something and won't budge. Got a handgun magazine. That zombie looks like he's ready to pop up any second. Clothes and various bits of junk are scattered everywhere. Or somebody's gonna come out of the closet and get me. I remember that from the first game. <laughs> first version of the game. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve is a big winner but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. It scared the shit out of me, too. He's wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. He said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. Goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came, ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. I know that door is going to pop open. And I'll be ready. Can I open it myself?
what a waste of ammo. Another way you can tell if you're out of danger is because the dramatic music usually stops if you're in a situation like that. Another old key. Ooh. Alrighty, nothing else in here. Still hear that window rattling. Unlocked that door. So that'll take me back to that second hallway. Missed a door in here. Ah, another dagger. Good. The defensive items were not in the original version of the game. You just had to make sure that you shot them before they got to you. Ah, okay. I remember this. This is where I use the blue gemstone. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. But I need both if I'm going to do anything. Okay. So it's good to know that that's still there. Let's go grab the chemical and deal with that plant creature. Wrong way. Those flash grenades must be defensive items because they don't seem to be taking up any space in my inventory. <laughs> Alright, I want to use the chemical. Hold on to that key for now, because I'm going to be using the chemical pretty quick here. I'm sure that zombie will break through eventually. Use the chemical on the water. And it looks like I want to use the red. Yes. Oh, it doesn't like that very much, does it? And it's dead. Otherwise, that would have given us a nasty surprise if we tried to come through. And what have we here? We have a death mask. So that room with the coffin hanging up in the ceiling... Uh, full of those little places where you had to put these. This is what you need to put there. So this is one of them. I'd like to grab an herb while I'm here, but I don't have any space. It's on my way, so... I'm Whoa! I knew he was going to come through eventually. Two of them! Oh my! There we go, that time I got his head. That ensures that they die. So one thing I'm a little confused about, and maybe someone can uh, 
Maybe someone who's played the game can let me know. So they were talking about how the only way to make sure that the zombies stay dead is to burn them or take their heads off. So I originally thought that the gas or the kerosene that's available was for a weapon that I'm going to get later. But is it possible for me to go and like spread gas on the zombies corpses and burn them is that the only way to make sure that they don't get back up because the reason i ask is am i just gonna be wasting ammo are they just gonna keep getting back up over and over again uh if you could let me know that uh, i'd appreciate it that might be something that's different in this game that i just don't know about since i haven't played this one too much so please and thank you mansion key. I believe I know what waits for me in here. Maybe. That is an ink ribbon. An expensive looking grand piano. Yes, this is what I thought was going to be waiting for me. So I need the musical score to play the piano, except I don't even know if Chris can play the piano. Nothing else in here. Not right now. Okay. Was that a picture of Neuschwanstein in the background? I think it was. I've been there. Gonna go and drop off the first death mask. Death mask, if I can speak today. Man, it's dark. I have to use the map because I can't see. Oh yeah, that's locked from the other side. There's a reason that camera shot goes to the grave like that, I'm sure. The zombie will come and get me eventually. Alrighty. So this is the one... I need the one that's all of them. Eyes, nose, and mouth should be. I think this is the first one. No, that one doesn't seem to fit there. Okay. I just kind of guessed. I hope that's right. Can I take it? Nope, the mask fits perfectly. Okay. So that's one down. I hesitate to see what's going to come out of that coffin when we get them all in place, but, you know, I kind of feel like I have to. Nice sound effects. Okie dokie. There's gotta be some other doors yet that I haven't unlocked. Because I'm still carrying the mansion key with me. Ah. Da -da 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 -da. There's gotta be a couple more. Head down the hallway here and see if I can open any more. Because this one, I think, is the helmet key. Yeah, that one's locked. Not sure if I like that sound, but whatever.
Here we go again. Let's see, can I take out two with one shot? Uh-oh. That's no good. Of the fuckers. Still got plenty of ammo. I got nothing to worry about. At least not at the moment. Ah! Runner! Whew. I'm not used to the runners. I don't remember in the first game them running at you at all. Ah, what a waste. I got his head. Yeah, I'm hurting now. Gotta get me an herb. But let's try these doors. That one's locked with the Spencer family emblem. This one I used the mansion key and now I have no further use for the key. Good. There better not be anything in here. I think there is something in here. I'm going to back out for now. I want to make sure I heal. Other way. Other, other way. Since I'm in caution, I might want to use one of my first aid sprays. Also, let's try filling that canteen. There we go, and now I'm back in fine condition again. Refill your fuel canteen. Refilled your fuel canteen with kerosene. Yeah, I'm thinking that I'm unfortunately may be correct in that I have to make sure that I douse the zombies with fire or they come back. I hope that's not the case. I kind of think it is, but I really hope that's not the case. Let's get some shells. Lack of any better ideas, I know I'm gonna need the musical score, so I'll grab that. That doorknob looks pretty sturdy to me. Okay, let's go check out this sketchy room now. If 
I recall from the first one correctly, there should be a puzzle to solve in here. The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. Press it. Picture of a sage wearing a necklace. It's set in red stained glass. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. Press it. No. I see you up there. Don't think I don't. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. There's a switch here. Press it. No. Lisa protected by the three spirits. Aha, I see a green tiara, it looks like, a red bracelet, and a purple necklace. Bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. That is not green. That looks purple. Says, bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Okay, so I know that's not right. Sage wearing a necklace. Picture of the sage has turned to deep red. Okay, so that's not right. Saint wearing a crown. Okay, now it's orange, so we know that's not right. Aha, there we go. Picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet, it's glowing with an orange light, so that's, that's correct. So now the crown is green. That's correct. And now the necklace is purple. There we go. And that should be correct. We got a green crown, we got a purple necklace, and we got an orange bracelet. Press the switch. Yes, indeedy. And we got another death mask. Good times. You might be able to unlock it using an old key. Use the old key, yes. Is this gonna take me where I think it's gonna take me? Yes, okay. Nice shortcut. I like it. So once again, it's still too dark, I can't see. <laughs> fits there. Uh-oh. Two of the chains are gone now. Why do I have a feeling I'm in for a pretty big fight when that opens? Okie dokie. So let's go and put the score on the piano. Those two clearly go together. Not necessary to use this now. That's interesting. 
Ah, I'm missing some of it. Okay. All right, another change to a puzzle. Grab the ink ribbon. Now the question is, now what? Not sure what to do next. Nevermore. There's something I'm missing in here. Oh, that's right, I never took that clip from before. And there's some more herbs. Grab one. Shut up, birds. Ugh, camera! That's what I'm missing here. Okay. Now there should be one more zombie up here. If I recall correctly. Of course, you're not going to let me see, are you? Ah, oh, there you go. Another easy way to tell whether a zombie is alive or not, because there's auto-aim, all you have to do is turn away from the zombie and aim, and it'll automatically turn back toward it if it's alive. Nice little cheat there. dropping off that blue gemstone does anything. I think I need both the yellow one and the blue one before I can do anything. Because other than that, right now, I'm kind of not sure what I'm supposed to do. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. Yep. Nope. Nope. It's doing something. Shotgun shells. Yes. I'll take it. So apparently I need a yellow gemstone of some kind. But I got some shotgun shells for my trouble. I'm gonna go grab some herbs from that room with the plant. There's a lot of herbs in here. Let me go ahead and combine these just to save some space. So that makes a more powerful healing effect if you put two green herbs together. It's not as good as a red and a green, but it's better than just a green. Oh no, I killed the herbs. Oh shoot. <laughs> I wondered if that would do something. And it did. It killed the herbs. Yep. Glad I got the ones I did. <laughs> shoot. 
That's also changed from the original game. Yep, that room is now complete. Shoot. Well, lost some herbs, but oh well. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to do yet, and it's pretty much been another session, uh, full session of recording anyway, so I'll probably stop it for now. Yeah, I know, I'm saving too much, I don't care. I'm going just to beat the game, I'm not going for a special grade. Alrighty. Thank you once again for watching everyone, this has been Chronos006 playing Resident Evil HD with Chris for the PC. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Take care.